Blog Talk Radio. Hello, you're listening to Live with David Hester, and this is Monday, and we are doing our health show every Monday uh, until we change it. Okay, and that's the cool thing about being the, you know, the the host of your own radio show is that you have some control over what happens on the program. Cool thing is, is that we are talking with Donna Neely as we have been talking uh, for the past uh, couple of Mondays, and she's the uh, founder of Esteem. Okay, and you can visit her website at um, uh, www.esteematt.com. Okay, and they have a vision for 2011. That's this year. Yes, we've already made it in 2011. It's here. Okay, and we have this vision of having a balanced you. And the cool thing is, is what we've been talking about for the past couple of Mondays, and what we're going to continue talking about over the next you know, a few months, is what's called the table of success, okay? And this table of success is going to help us to achieve a balanced lifestyle, okay? So I'm just going to run over it real quick, okay? The, uh, the first leg of the table of success we've talked about already. You'll have to listen to the previous shows to, uh, to, to hear the information on it, is motivation, okay? The second leg of the table of success is fuel, Okay, third leg would be uh, exercise, and the fourth leg is rest and stress management. So today we're talking about fuel, leg number two. Now, we've, we've started talking about, um, you know, the, the foods that we eat, okay? And we, we talked about this a lot in our last program, and what's really important is that we, you know, that we eat what God has asked us to eat, what God has created to be food, to be nourishment for our bodies, okay? And so we're talking about uh, eating God's way, you see, doing, uh, doing it as the Scripture kind of outlines for us, okay? Now, you know, we didn't talk about this uh, last week. You know, we, we were talking about the foods that we should eat, okay? And that's really important, but a lot of times... Uh, people just start adding all the healthy food to their diet, but they never take out anything, okay? But, you know, a after my research, I've realized that there's about 12 foods that we should remove from our diet, okay? And I'm just going to go through this really quickly before we get into the rest of our um, discussion on leg number two, fuel, okay? So first of all, we should remove all pork products, okay? Secondly, we shouldn't have any shellfish, okay? We shouldn't eat fish that don't have fins and scales. That would be like shark or eel or catfish, okay? Um, we should avoid hydrogenated oils like margarine or shortening, okay? Artificial sweeteners, okay? Aspartame, saccharin, okay? All of that gross stuff, it, it's all in there. We should avoid white flour. We should avoid white sugar. We should avoid soft drinks. We should avoid pasteurized, homogenized skim milk, okay? We should avoid high fructose corn syrup, okay? Uh, soy protein, which is your imitation meat product, uh, all of those artificial flavors and colors, and we should, uh, you know, avoid excessive alcohol. Now, today I have Donna Neely on the program, and we are going to be talking about leg number two, fuel, and we're going to get into some more uh, about fuel. Okay, now there's two things we're going to talk about today that um, we don't think about when we think about fuel for our bodies. Okay, so Sister Donna, welcome to the program. Hello. Glad to be here, David. Glad to have you. Now, we're talking about fuel, and you have two things that you want to bring to the table because we've been talking about foods to eat and not eat. So what about, what else does fuel entail? Fuel entails the water that we drink and uh, the way we breathe, the oxygen. All right. Well, let's, let's jump in. Okay. Well, um, you know, we hear quite a bit about water, but the, what I'm finding as I, you know, increase my clientele and talk to people about their health is 
They really think that they're drinking a lot of water, but in actuality, they are not. And what what they don't understand is that our body is between 50 and 65 percent water. So you know, your organs, your internal organs, your your life, along with the blood, the water gives life. It's it's for purification. It's for detoxification. Um, and it, it helps everything function correctly. Um, even down to our brain is actually 85% water. So if you're not getting, um, if you're not hydrating like you should, your brain is suffering. Um, and we don't think about that. And if you go to the Word, you know, Jesus um, equated himself to the living, he is the living water. So he is most important. So therefore, I would equate that with water, us getting our natural water in to be just as important. Um, there's things that we can do. We think when well, we're drinking, you know, tea and we're drinking soft drinks and things like that, so we're, we're still intake um, bringing in the water. In actuality, those things become caloric. So you're adding weight to you, you're adding calories to you. So water is the only beverage that is non-caloric um, and what we need. It's not adding anything else in our body but the water that we need. So you should drink half of your body, a rule of thumb, drink half of your body weight in water, in, in ounces, I'm sorry, in ounces every day. So that means if you're 200 pounds, you should drink 100 ounces of water every day. And you say, wow, that's too much. But in actuality, if you don't, you, you're dehydrating yourself. Um, so, and that's just for a sedentary person. Right, right. Now, you see, so water, what you're saying is water really is the number one health food. Yes, it is. And, and it's never projected like that. It's just like just drink water. But we really need to understand how important it is. Um, it's and. As soon as you get thirsty or your mouth is dry, you're already dehydrated. It doesn't take long to become dehydrated, and that causes a, a, a um, what is it? it? It just causes so many other problems when you come, become dehydrated. Dehydration will cause your blood to thicken. It can cause heart attack, stroke, and we're going to get into that a little later. But that, you know, that's, the, um, that's how important water is. Now, if you exercise, you should add, for every 20 minutes you exercise, you should add another eight ounces of water to your drinking for the day. Right. So, you know, because you're, you're putting out toxins when you, when you, um, when, through the sweat glands when you exercise. And, yes, people, when you exercise, you should perspire. I've had a lot of people say, well, do I have to sweat when I'm exercising? Yes, you do. That means you're putting some effort into it. Um, <laughs> um, I've had several to ask me that because, you know, I just, I just don't want to do that much or I don't want to exercise that much. Well, part of getting the benefit from it is to get the toxins out of your body through your sweat gland. And so you have to put that water back in your body so that you won't get dehydrated. Um, for, um, when you wake up in the morning, you should drink a cup of water. This will help your digestive system throughout the day. When you go to bed at night, you drink a cup of water. And this actually helps alleviate the um, stroke or heart attack. Right. So that's two things that I put out there that people, you know, start doing that. That You've gotten, what? 16 ounces in right there if you do that morning or night. Um, drink room temperature water, um, especially with your meals, because they help you to digest that meal. Okay. When you drink ice water, it actually, if there's any type of fat or, um, um, I say, grease or anything like that in that food, it will con congeal it and it will not digest as well. So um, when I go out to dinner or even at home, I, I don't think I've drink had um, ice water in, I can't tell you how long. Right. 
um, there was one more thing. Um, the and I'm all over the place. I, mean, I have so many notes here. <laughs> oh, the, the one thing that I wanted to bring out is how important the water is to the lymphatic system that we don't hear a lot about. And the lymphatic system is the body sewer system. So it's pushing out those dead, dead white blood cells, unused plasma protein, and the toxins in our body. So the water um, is, is to the lymphatic system like the heart is to the circulation. Right. So if your lymphatic system is sluggish, your, whole, your, you've, your uh, body is toxic. Right. You know, and that also, and um, that even goes into your deep breathing, which we'll, we'll get into in a few minutes. So that, you know, that's just a little, just a little bit about water. And I'm not even going to go into what type of water, which spring water is the best one to drink. Um, you've got all these filtration systems out here, and tap water should be filtered because there's a lot of toxins and there's a lot of um, minerals in the um, tap water that our body does not need, that are not good for us. So I would suggest you um, purchase spring water or get you a good filtration system in your home and, and drink that water. Right. You know, one of the, uh, I'm glad you brought up the, the types of water that, you know, to drink, you know, because they put all the fluoride and all the chemicals and medicines and stuff in our water nowadays, you know, so it's important to, you know, get a good, you know, either a good purifier or, you know, to buy our, our, our water bottle, you know, distilled water or, or mm -hmm. spring water or, or whatever. Uh, that's helpful. I mean, and plus, it's not expensive. You know, right. if, you're not, if you're not buying them in the single servings and you're actually buying them, you know, in the gallon, um, mm -hmm. that's, that's not too expensive. I, I get it for like 86 cents, okay. <laughs> you know, at, uh, at my uh, local grocery store. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a lot of times people say, well, I don't like the flavor of water. You know, a water has no flavor. You know, so, you know, one thing that I've come up with is, you know, adding a lemon or a lime. Exactly. Your water, you know that that changes the flavor twice there, and um, yeah. you know um, that also, uh, believe it or not, makes the water even more alkaline because water is neutral. Right. And uh, so if we put a lemon in it or, or a lime, it, it's going to, you know, boost the alkalinity of of the water. You know, something else that might be helpful would be to add some mint leaves. Oh yeah. You know, you put some mint leaves, you know, in a, in a gallon of water and let it sit overnight. You know, that's that's excellent. You know, as far yeah. as like, changing the flavor. Um, and you know what I what I really um have to tell people is, don't go to the store and buy the the um, flavored water because that's not that's not true water. Right. Um, it will add again. You're, you're adding calories. Um, and they have all these different flavored waters and mineral waters and um, what, vitamin water and just drink water. And like you said, put some mint in it, a lemon, a, a lemon slice, or um, you can really put any type of fruit in your water. Right. Um, I've even had it with um, strawberry in my sure. water, and my husband looked at me like I was crazy, but you know. <laughs> Just something different to liven it up. If you have a problem with, try some different things. Sure. You know, and um, spice it up some. That's it. That's it. Now, uh, one of the things that that's also important is we're trying to get water into our diet because we need so much of it in a day. Uh, mm -hmm. Is to eat uh, water-rich foods. You know, like like okay. watermelon. You know, yes. which is you know, yes. ninety ninety two percent water. You know, so yes. uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, fruits. You know, things that we can eat that have a lot of water in it. Exactly, and um, that's that's what I tell several people. You know, get your 
you know, water and the fruit, like you said, the watermelon, the carrot, you know, the, the melons are wonderful with adding water to the diet. Um, so, you know, some of the benefits of water, which we just talked about, it, um, it lubricates the skin, the joints, muscles, and your internal organs. Um, you can always tell, um, well, for those that, how can I put this, with those that still have a head full of hair, <laughs> um, you can always tell in your hair if you're not drinking a lot of water because your hair becomes brittle and the right. shine begins to leave. Right. So, you know, if there are um, telltale factors on how hydrated you, you, have, you are in your body. Um, you know, like I said, the rule of thumb, how much to drink, how, you know, if you exercise a lot, add so much more to your, your um, ounces for the day. You know, when you pass the water fountain, drink some water. Carry a water bottle with you. Um, like I said, drink a full glass when you wake up and when you go to bed. Drink water with every meal. And, of course, drink before you get thirsty. And this will um, stop the, the body from building up waste. Your skin becomes healthy. Kidney stones, you need water. You know, a lot of people have kidney stone problems. Increase your water intake. Right. Poor circulation, pure, poor blood circulation, increase your water. Your digestion, and a lot of people don't realize it. It can even, if you don't have enough water, it can cause bad breath. Right. Because now, you know, of the toxins. Sure. You know, one of the things that, that I was told by a trainer from many years ago, uh, said, you know, get a digital watch mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, set it to beep at every hour, you know, and, uh, you know, every time it beeps, get yourself a glass of water. Oh, wow, that's, a, that's great. You know, so, uh, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, <laughs> supposed to be helpful to, you know, make you think about it, you know, and after a while, you'll start drinking uh, the water before the thing even beeps. Okay. You know, it just... Did, did it work for you? Happen. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it works. It works. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that tip. Sure. About water. <laughs> uh, how about now... Now, you know, here's one thing. The uh, At Healthy Fix, we, we have right. a... Uh, we have water, water bottles. Why don't you tell us about that? Um, I actually tried the water sticks at the, um, they're called water sticks, and they come in a um, case. And there are four-ounce bottles that you can just drop in your purse. Um, they're excellent to take with, with you when you're running. You, can't take the, you don't want to take the big water bottle with you. With, you can drop those in your pocket or drop it down, you know, in your zipper pocket or your jacket or whatever. And I actually used them as um, a promotion um, at our women's wellness workshop last uh, two Saturdays ago. And they were a huge hit, and they are natural spring water, straight from the spring. And the, the water is, um, it is so clean. Right. It, I mean, it is so clean when you drink it. It, it, it tastes nothing like what you buy out of the store. Right. Um, and and I have several you know people that are like, wow, this is nice where you get it from. So that was a good way to get them with the healthy fix products and to promote that water stick. And if I keep one in my purse all the time because you're running out the door, you may have your vitamins with you, but oh man, I forgot something to drink, and you don't have your water with you. Well, pull it out of your purse and use it. Drink it. It's wonderful. That's it. Now, another thing she wanted to talk about was, um, you know, uh, one of those things that we forget about when we're, when we're talking about, you know, fuel. So what was that? That's deep breathing, our oxygen that we don't, you know, most people, uh, we, we breathe incorrectly on a, reg on a daily basis, and it, it's almost like we breathe backwards and it's comfortable to them. And what I mean by that is when you inhale, 
you inhale oxygen and you exhale the carbon dioxide. But you inhale through your nose. And when you inhale through your nose, your diaphragm protrudes your stomach out as almost as if you're pregnant. And then when you breathe out, when you exhale, you breathe out through your mouth and your stomach or your diaphragm comes in. That's the correct way to breathe. That way you're pulling in the clean air, the oxygen, and you're pushing out the toxins in the um, the toxins out of your body in the carbon dioxide that you're putting out. And you have to really think about what you're doing um, to do it correctly. Because if you breathe from the chest, your lungs have not um, been purified. You still have carbon dioxide in your lungs. So you need to breathe that deep breathe, that deep cleansing breath, and then push it all out. That is great when you're meditating or um, and you need to do that when you're exercising so you can get all of the benefits from the exercise. Um, and so you have to, you know, take your time. Deep breathing is great for depression, stress, and like I said, even your, your, your system, your, your um, circulation, your lymphatic system, like I just talked about with the water. I mean, it's an ongoing, if you don't do any other exercise, work on your breathing. It even helps with your aerobic exercise. And it helps with um, clearing your mind. Right. So, what, what, you know, when we think about deep breathing, you know, a lot of people are inside all the time. What should they do? <laughs> they should, you know, I tell everybody, you need to get outside. Uh, and I know that the air outside is toxic, and but the, and the air inside is just about the same, but it's not, um, it, uh, your nose hair is your filtration system. And once you breathe in, that nose hair is catching those particles and things to stop it from getting into your body. So that's why you have nose hair. That's why you have everything on our body, there's a reason for it. Right. And, you know, God is amazing. He took care of everything. <laughs> he sure did. He did. He took care of everything, every aspect that we needed. And um, so my thing is to, you know, try to get outside, but you can even do the deep breathing on the inside. Like I said, the, the filtration system that we have is going to block quite a bit from getting in the system. Now, do you have anything to add on that, you know, as far as, breathing inside? Well, you know, I uh, I, I try to take uh, time. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I actually make time in my day to breathe. You know, and people say, well, but you're doing that all day long. You know, <laughs> and it's like, well, no, I'm not. You know, I'm, I, I'm doing enough to, like, survive. Right. You know, but if I want to live, I'm, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to take, I'm going to take 15, 20 minutes to just, just sit there and breathe, actually concentrate on breathing, you know. And it sounds silly, but if you do this for, you know, a month, two months, it, you'll actually start uh, noticing a change in your breathing uh, patterns and habits throughout the rest of the day. Right, right. And um, at the end of my, most of my classes that I do, like I brought up the meditation, we do Christian meditation, which we, we focus on a, a scripture or a verse um, or a positive, um, positive thought um, and just sit there and ponder over it. Think about it, you know, it, it, it's for a, um, you know, and just think about it and breathe while we're doing that. And we absorb it better. It get, we really begin to understand the scripture. We really begin to let it sink in while we're doing the, the breathing exercises. And it's amazing. You may come in stressed and you leave feeling like you're on top of the world. So mm -hmm. taking the time to breathe daily will just help calm you. 
because of all of the stress factors that we run in through the day. It calms you. You don't fly off the handle as easily. You're not easily um, uh, pushed to your limit. You can you can just handle life better. Right. So you, you're saying that deep breathing is not only helping us to you know cleanse our lungs and get the oxygen that we need. It's also falls in line with the uh, leg four, which is rest and stress management. Exactly. Exactly. It, it, in a full circle, everything works together. That's why you have to work everything together in conjunction to get the full benefit out of anything. You can't just do one part because the ta it's a table of success. If one leg is weak or if one leg is not working, you're limping. That table is soon to fall. That table is not balanced. And like you were saying earlier, our vision of in a scene is a, bal a, a balanced view. You know, can't say you can't be great in one area and leave off the other. It just does not work like that. You have to work it together, and it takes practice. It takes time. It takes work to be balanced. Work. <laughs> Sorry to put that word out there, but um, just like you don't get the full benefits from the Word of God unless you read it and put it into action, the same is with the table of success. Amen. You can sit free all day, but never do anything with it, and you don't get the benefit. Amen. Well, we're down to the last uh, three minutes of the program. Do you have any uh, closing thoughts? And uh, be sure to share your website. And you know you have you have stuff coming up in March and boot camp and all that exciting stuff. So be sure to tell us about it. Yeah, um, my website is www.esteematt.com. And we, um, like David said, I have a I'm planning a boot camp in March, and that's um, listed on the website. Um, and more information is coming on that as we get everything together. Um, I have another workshop coming up in May, um, and working um, a wellness workshop. Um, and that's that's another thing that I do. I plan and um, facilitate and event plan for wellness workshops in churches, um, you know, um, gyms. Um, other wellness centers that would, you know, need the help with setting it all together. Um, so we've, we have a lot of plans for this year and a lot of programs that you will see on the, um, the website that are coming soon. So please, please keep, keep going to the website for all those little nuggets that will be showing up. Well. Amen. And, well, that was Donna Neely, and we've been talking about the table of success. You know, this is really important because it says in Third John, it says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Okay? Thanks so much for listening to the show today. And be sure to visit Donna's website, and you can check out my website at www.davidbhester.com. Com. Thanks so much for listening today, and God bless you.